Something to keep in mind when it comes to protecting your pets during the winter is if you're cold, so probably are they. Ann Sterling talked with a veterinarian in Shorewood who is sharing some winter safety tips. <laughs> the pets at the dog park in Shorewood are enjoying the chilly weather. Some dogs are, don't like the cold, but he actually seems to do well in it. He likes, he gets more pep, he's peppier. Bob Dufek brings his nearly 200 pound Irish Wolfhound Duke to the dog park nearly every day. After 35 minutes or so, I figured that's enough. He doesn't need any more. When he just stops running, then I figure it's time to take him home. Dr. David Rosine with Shorewood Animal Hospital says knowing when your pet is cold is key. My rule of thumb is if you're miserable outside, your dog will be too. Hypothermia, you know, low body temperature can be very serious and ultimately a pet could die if left outside too long. If a dog or a cat is left outside, Dr. Rosine says make sure the pet has dry bedding, good shelter, and has clean water to drink. Well, you want to make sure that you have a source of water that's not frozen, and that's probably the trickiest part in, in weather like this, so you have to have some kind of insulation in the doghouse or some kind of a, a dish that has a warming capability. Another big issue when it comes to winter in Wisconsin, salt. Pets walk on the ground where salt is spread nearly every day. It's mostly just an irritant. They can get a little bit of sore between the toes and they'll do some excessive licking and get some irritation. And then, of course, the salt is more irritating, so it can become a little bit of a vicious cycle. Dr. Rosine says after walks, wipe your pet's paws. Use warm water to remove the salt. Or you could try dog booties to protect their feet. Veterinarians also say before you leave, tap on the hood of your car. Many outdoor cats look for heat like from an engine. In Shorewood, Ann Sterling, today's TMJ4. And Dr. Rosine also said not to keep pets in cold cars for too long during the winter. It says the car basically turns into a refrigerator and also is too cold.